to go. Still haven't cleaned my mirror. Got this new jacket I'm gonna wear that says mama on the back. And I am channeling my inner J-Lo with these hoop earrings. <laughs> Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this video because I know it's going to be awesome because I'm hoping I have some really good news to share tomorrow. So I'm gonna start this video today, Sunday. I'm headed down to San Diego to meet an online friend <laughs> in person. Yeah, so you know how your parents say like, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to people online. Well, I not only make a ton of friends um, in the carnivore community, but now I'm meeting somebody Lauren, she's from New York, she's on vacation in San Diego, so we're gonna go get some barbecue. Another fun thing today that happened is I had an article come out in Newsweek. It was actually an interview, and I had like a ghostwriter, the lady that interviewed me, and she did it um, from my perspective as like an essay. I forget what they're calling them. It like the I am or some, <laughs> some sort of thing. That's like the series they're doing on Newsweek. So if I remember, I will put the link below and you can check that out. Like I said, I'm bringing you along to San Diego to get barbecue. And I just also want to show this thing. So Jeff got it for me for my birthday. So that was like three weeks ago and I haven't opened it or read anything because I've just been so intimidated by this thing. It has a gimbal. So it like follows you, like it keeps it stable and you can like use these buttons to zoom and it has a tripod on the bottom so you can set it on the table and it has a feature where if you like set it down and you're walking around it will follow you so we're going from me holding my phone to a fancy <laughs> little thing and it was very intimidating but i'm excited so maybe it will be a little less shaky and tomorrow's thing okay this has been something in the works for a few weeks now i have ah been like dying to spill the beans but i just want everything to be official before i say anything so tomorrow is my third meeting with this company and hopefully after that we will sign the contracts because i already have the contracts but we're going over some things and as soon as i find out everything's good i'm going to share it at the end of this video and i will edit this and get it up on youtube as soon as possible so there's no delay as little as possible, no delay in me getting the news and you guys finding out. All right, so enough blabbering. I'm headed out right now. I'm going to swing by my mom's. She's doing some construction. So if there's anything exciting, I'll, sh I'll share that. But if not, I will see you at barbecue. A little June gloomy, but hopefully it's supposed to clear up a little bit later. This is day 15 of Lion Diet. And going to a barbecue place, there is most likely going to be seasoning on the things I'm eating. I plan on getting brisket. I could technically cut off the crust that has seasoning um, to be strict lion. Am I going to do that? No, I'm going to enjoy it. If I had like autoimmune issues I was trying to work out, then I would definitely skip it. I haven't had any seasoning or plants this whole time, but I'm going to make a little exception for this barbecue place and I feel okay with that. The famous boobs. All right, I just got to the barbecue place. I'm a little early, so I just drove by. There's like nothing going on. There's no smoking, there's no barbecue. I don't smell anything. Shouldn't they be cooking? Like either something's off or are we getting yesterday's leftovers? I mean, I'm not a barbecue pro, but I feel like they would cook every day, right? Look at this delicious menu. I am going to get brisket and beef bones. Look how cute this little patio is. Look at that rib and some brisket. All right, we are trying, look at this massive bone that is falling off. Let's see. Mmm, mm-hmm. And a cup of brisket. Good. Everyone say hi to Lauren. Hi. <laughs> okay, tell us what you're having. So, Courtney told me to get that beef bone, so I got that beef bone. Do you want me to eat in front of the people? Yeah, tell them what you think. And I brought salt, too. <laughs> We're gonna need that salt. Yeah, that's good though, huh? And then we got, it's so good. Then we got pork rib. Oh, I'll eat that. That's pretty good. And then we got, then we got brisket. What'd you think of the brisket? It's good. It's good. Brisket's super tender. <laughs> 
So we have been stopped on the freeway for a good amount of time. I saw smoke earlier, there was a helicopter, cop car went by, fire went by. Um, I'm assuming there was an accident where a car was on fire. But anywho, I had such a good time with Lauren. I wish she lived closer. It was just like so easy to talk to her. She was so cool. Like I was instantly, this sounds so creepy. I was instantly drawn to her when I found her on social media and she's just been so awesome. So that was really fun to see her. And now as soon as this freeway moves again, it's back to reality. And I will see you guys tomorrow with my exciting news. All right guys, so the big news, drum roll. I am getting a book deal for a cookbook. It's going to be a carnivore cookbook. And <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so scared. It's just, it's so many emotions. Um, the publishing company so far has been really awesome. We just got off of our third meeting right now. Um, so we're just going over some contract details. And so we're going to make a few revisions and then I will sign it. And then you will see this video. Um, so that by the time this is out, everything will all be signed and official. They've been really awesome, um, like asking me what the concept is and kind of like collaborating a little bit, but like everything I said, like they were fine with. They let me do the timeline, like if it's six months or two years. Obviously, I have no patience, so my deadline I gave myself is seven months, which is um, a little insane considering I'm going to be homeschooling two children and trying to make this whole book. Um, so my deadline is January 31st. And then once they get it in their hands, then they will be about six to nine months before it is actually released. So I'm so excited. Let me know if you want to see like behind the scenes and the whole process of what the heck I'm going to be doing. <laughs> um, recipe development, writing, everything. I don't know. Like it's, this is a whole new whole new world. Um, so I'm glad I have a team behind me that knows exactly what they're doing because I know how to cook, but I sure as hell don't know how to put it together in a book. So eek. I'm so excited to share this with you guys and give this a like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all the things, and I'll see you next time.